So today I want to start with a story. So once upon a time there was a wise man traveling through India and he met the king and he challenged the king to a game of chess. And the king said, oh, this sounds fantastic. What do I get if I win? And the wise man thought about it and said, you know what, I'm a very simple man. All I want is one grain of rice on the first square of a chessboard. And on the second square, I'd like two grains of rice. And then on the third square, four grains of rice. And for every square after that, I want you to double the amount of rice on the square before. So I want you to keep that in mind, keep that story in mind. Bacteria reproduce through a process called binary fission. They start with one and they become two. Now, under ideal conditions, that happens once every 20 minutes. So if you start with one bacteria, I want you to work out how many bacteria there will be after 24 hours. Okay, struggling a bit? That's okay. It's meant to be hard. But I want you just to think about, firstly, uh, what do we know? We know the bacteria double in number every 20 minutes. And I'm asking for 24 hours. So how many times is it going to double? The answer is 24 times 3, so that's 72. Now, let's start, well, we know we're starting with 1. Okay. Now, we need to think about the formula. Excel is a great program to use to, um, you know, like Excel is your friend. You need to make it work for you. So let's think about the formula. So we say equals first of all. It's going to double every time. So let's say two times the cell before equals. Now, if I grab that, we know what the next one is, don't we? In the next time is going to go from 2 to 4. So I'm going to grab hold of this little square and bring it down and we're going to expect 4 and it's 4. The reason for that is it remembers or uses the same formula again. So we can go ahead and do that um, to 72. But we actually need to go to 73 because we started with 1 and then we had to duplicate 72 times. And that is our answer. 4.72 by 10 to the power of 21. See how you couldn't do it on a piece of paper? That's massive. Now what I want you to do is graph it. So we've got those numbers highlighted. Insert and recommended chart. That's what we want. So without mucking around with labeling it and all of that, which you should do of course, this is the number of uh, times that it's uh, replicated or duplicated and this is the number what we can see here is exponential growth okay it starts off pretty slow and then it really really ramps up it looks like it's a flat line here and that's just purely because of the um, the scale so it really ramps up that's exponential growth so before I forget, let's finish our story with the chessboard and the wise man in India. Well, sure enough, he won the, um, the chess game against the, the king. And there's actually 64 uh, squares on the chessboard, so not quite as many as we did before with the 72. But even still, the, the legend goes that the last square on the chessboard had so much rice that it would cover the whole of India up to one metre deep. So, of course, there wasn't that much rice in India and the king had been tricked by the wise man who understood exponential growth. That's the story. And it tells us why, um, uh, helps us understand why it takes a period of incubation before we really start to feel sick from a virus or a bacteria because it takes a while for it to reproduce um, to the point where it becomes uh, that we actually feel symptomatic from it. That's exponential growth.